Meshasa now, you will not be like Meshasa. Say, I will not be like Meshasa. You know, gathering, gathering women, 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 wives, one is not sufficient, and concubines, concubines upon concubines, and he lived an, an easy life, a fleshly life, a worldly life, a, a life that spoiled him. He didn't have any character at all, even though he had a crown. There are people that have crowns, no character, they have certificate, no character. They have names, popularity, no character. They have women running after them, but there's no character. And what the Lord is looking at on the final day will be that character, not your crown, not your certificate, not your profession, not your money, not your houses, not the land you have. It's looking for character. He wants people that will live according to the word of God and keep the commandments of God. But you have not. You have not. Because the Bible says, all have sinned, not to live a shazam, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now judgment is coming and then is near knees were knocking together and there was a writing on the wall he wanted somebody to help reach the writing on the wall look at verse 9 in verse 9 then was king Belshazzar greatly troubled and his countenance was changed in him and his lords were astonished they were astonished they were surprised there was nothing they could do and there was no solution to the problem there is no solution to the problem until the word of the lord comes to you plain and clear and then you can have a proper understanding a proper interpretation a proper application of that word unto you because judgment is coming if you will repent today, if you will turn away from your sin today, that judgment will not come upon you again. He said, the times of ignorance, God went at the times of ignorance. You see, Belshazzar was ignorant. He did not understand that blasphemy against God will bring judgment. He did not understand that a promiscuous life and immoral life going from this woman to that woman and from this uh, concubine to that concubine he did not know that that would bring venereal disease in his life he did not know that alcohol will turn him mad he did not know that all those things will spoil his life will destroy his life and it was a time of ignorance there are many people like that today they drink but they are ignorant they don't understand and they smoke they're ignorant they do not understand the consequence of that they blaspheme God they sin against God they sin in the public and they sin in the private they are ignorant they do not know what that will mean in their lives but you know if tonight you said I was ignorant that's why I was playing with Satan I was ignorant. That's why I joined the cult. I was ignorant. That's why I did all those evil things I did. But this time of ignorance, God went at, and now he commands all men everywhere to repent. As you say, I've had the word of the Lord. I'm not ignorant anymore now. I know that a day of judgment is coming, and I want to escape the judgment of God. The mercy of God will come to you. Am I talking to somebody there tonight? The favor of God, the grace of God will come to you in Jesus' name. Salvation. Somebody help me shout salvation. That's what we are getting tonight. Full and free. Salvation that comes from heaven and then all your sins are forgiven. That one comes tonight and then the burden of sin, the guilt of sin, and the yoke of sin, and the punishment, and the eternal judgment. Everything will pass away from you when the mercy of 
God that sets you free when that mercy comes if you say Lord I come Lord I come and then when that passage I'm, re I'm reading to you I'm quoting to you that say the time of ignorance God winked that but now he commands all men everywhere to repent he says because God has set a day in the which he will judge all the actions of men, all the transgressions of men. But now he raised up Jesus Christ and he is the mediator between you and God, between man and God. And as you receive that Jesus into your heart, praise the Lord. The Lord will not look at you as a sinner anymore. You become a son of God a daughter of God and anywhere you go if Satan wants to touch you the Lord will say remove your hand from there that is my son evil will not come upon your life anymore in Jesus name but you know Belshazzar did not understand all that there was a writing and then it greatly troubled him he needed an interpreter look at verse 18 of that Daniel chapter 5 it says O thou king the most high God give Nebuchadnezzar is Daniel talking to him now thy father a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor then in verse 20 it says but when his heart was lifted up that's Nebuchadnezzar when his heart was lifted up his mind had in him pride he was deposed from his kingly throne and they took his glory from him and then in verse 22 it says and thou his son Belshazzar thou his son Belshazzar are you a child of a pastor there and you know your your father the pastor talks about salvation he talks about restoration he gives you the example of his life how he reconciled with God and yet even though you know the life of your father you still continue in sin judgment day is coming but if you will turn to the Lord today and say, Lord, I surrender. The mercy of God will come to you today in Jesus' name. Did your parents buy a Bible for you and then you have read the lives of Samuel and the life of Joseph and the life of Daniel and the life of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and the life of Mary the Virgin and the lives of other people that followed after the Lord and yet even though you have a Bible in your hand and you go to church yet you are not following what you have read they had jesus to save them and they were saved but there you are you're still a sinner chewing sin drinking sin and eating sin and following kinds of sinners judgment day is coming but thank god today is your chance say today is my chance and the Lord will recover your life and restore your life in Jesus' name. For Belshazzar, it was different. Thou his son, O Belshazzar, hast not humbled thy heart, do thou knewest all this. And then in verse 23, it says, But thou hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, when you are drinking, you lifted up yourself against the God of heaven. When you are following after those women and concubines, you lifted up yourself against the Lord of heaven. When you contradicted and disobeyed and broke the laws of God, the commandments of God, you lifted up yourself against the Lord of heaven. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords and thy wives and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the God of silver and gods of gold and of brass and iron and wood and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, thou 
has not glorified in verse 24 it says therefore then was the part of the hand sent from him and this writing was reaching there's a writing against every sinner to start with every bad thing you do every evil thing you do every sin you commit whether small or great whether it's a kind of copying other people obeying other people who are living in sin and they're not satisfied to live in sin by themselves and they come to influence you and then you like a sheep that is meant for slaughter you just follow them everything is reaching down and then the judgment of God eventually is reaching down but today is your chance for free salvation and free healing and free deliverance if you will not wait if you will not draw back too late if you will say today I come salvation will come to you deliverance will come to you and a miracle will come to you in Jesus name and now a writing came look at verse 25 this is the writing that was reaching many many take you first and then in verse 26 it says this is the interpretation of the thing many god has numbered thy kingdom and finished it god knows what we do not know he knows the number of days we're supposed to live he knows the time we're going to spend here and there are people maybe they have only one day left like Belshazzar and they're still doing like we're doing before they're still dancing and drinking and womanizing and doing all those things and then the bell rings they're gone into a lost eternity God knows the measure of your days. That's the reason why you need to be wise today and say, Lord, all those evil things I've been doing, I suspend them. I stop them. I will not continue in them anymore. But in the case of Meshazzar, God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Verse 27, in verse 27, take care, thou art weighed in the balances and had found wanting the lord weighed his action commandment number one on one side of the scale is action on the other side of the scale he couldn't measure up commandment number two on one side of the of the scale and his life on the other scale he couldn't measure up and when he was measured with all the commandments of god he was found wanting he failed he failed and there was no mercy for him he didn't even ask for forgiveness or mercy himself look at the commandments of god as the lord measures your life with the commandments of god where do you stand commandment number one thou shalt not have any other god before me where do you stand commandment number two you will not make any image where do you stand number three you will not call the name of the lord in vain where do you stand number four you remember the lost day to give it holy holy and perfect and worship the lord where do you stand and then commandment number five that you honor you respect your parents all the days of your life where do you stand then you will not kill you will not steal and you will not bear false witness where do you stand you will not covet any Thing that belongs to your neighbor where do you stand Belshazzar was waged in the balances and was found wanting the Lord is weighing all your actions by him all actions are waged by him all habits are weighed by him your character is waged and it says he was waged and found wanting the man was short-sighted he was so short-sighted he couldn't reach the writing on the wall but today mercy comes to you i said mercy comes to you look at verse 28 it says in verse 28 parents that kingdom is divided and given to the medis and fashion even the thing it was you know holding on to i am the king i will drink as much as i want to drink he lost everything 
the Lord is showing us that. He said, look at that man. He became a fool at the age of his life. Do you want to be like Belshazzar at the end of your life? Where are you? I will not be like Belshazzar. I will not be foolish. I will not be weighed and found wanting. I will seek the face of the Lord and as you seek the face of the Lord forgiveness and salvation will come to you in Jesus name we're coming to number three now number three we're looking at seekers of wonders seekers of wonders with willingness to surrender those are the people the Lord will pardon those are the people the Lord will bring signs and wonders in your life in Jesus name seekers of wonders seekers of wonders you know the, the wonder will not just come to you as if you know God uh, says okay if you will not come I will come to you if you will not believe that's all right if you will not seek me that's all right I'll give you the wonders anyway no the wonders are not as cheap as that you must seek after the wonders of the Lord and with the willingness to surrender unto the Lord and as you do that tonight miracle will come to you we were in Kotonu uh, Bene Republic and this boy 15 years of age was brought by his parents from uh, the northern part of Bene Republic his name Adamu born deaf and dumb completely deaf and dumb could not hear anything but when the parents were coming from the village in the north in the northern part of the republic they brought him and then as we we're preaching the word and then i said the power of god is coming upon you now and we preach lo and behold deaf ears open the mouth that could not talk before began to talk and we brought the boy and tested him he could hear everyone that's right that's right put your hands together and give a calabar tap into the world that's what happened and then that's all right now that's all right now and after that when we finished that uh, crusade they took the boy to the village and when they when the villagers saw and remember there was no church no single church no kind of church in that village the father just had a pouch the program in Kotono and came and then uh, when everybody saw Adamo and they said Adamo from where you coming I'm coming from Kotono and then began to speak very well the chief of the village there gave us free land free land come and build that kind of church over here but you know you know why that happened there were seekers of wonders and if you will seek like that tonight and say i leave all my idols behind i leave all those bad things behind and i come into the lord that power will come to you tonight in that same crusade there was a woman 40 years of age and she did the name christine and i can remember that miracle very well because that miracle even the president of the country being a republic heard about the miracle that the president before the president won and he had to invite me and my team to his uh, office and we spoke about miracles we spoke about the salvation of the lord and by the grace of god eventually he surrendered his life to the lord he himself now is a real child of god let me come back to sister christina she was at the last stage of hiv and the children sons and daughters they brought her and she was on a stretcher and they laid her down and they were you know some of the children on this side another one on that side and then i preached the message and the woman was so weak she could not stand she was so weak she could not walk and she was just lying down helplessly there and then we began to pray the kind of prayer we're going to pray tonight and that prayer will turn your life around if you're seeking the wonders of the lord in jesus name 
and then as we prayed in the middle of the prayer in the middle of the prayer we had not said the final amen Christine, a 40 year old mother at the last stage of HIV age and totally weak got up by herself the, the sons and the daughters they didn't know when that happened and then she got up and then she started running not walking she was running and when we said the final amen and we said in jesus name we pray the children opened their eyes they couldn't see their mother and then they were looking for her. mama where are you mama where are you mama was exercising her new strength and she was running and they ran after her and then when they got her they thought she was mad and then she started laughing and she said i am not mad i am healed power somebody shout power power came upon her life because she was seeking seeking and was seeking with a willing heart to surrender i know you are there tonight and if you're seeking the lord and you want to surrender to the lord something will happen in your life power will come into your life anointing will break every yoke in your life that's why jesus said must well, seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness when you raise up your hand that you want to receive the lord that's seeking the kingdom of god and his righteousness when you stand up and you say i confess my sin i abandon my sin i will not go back into those sins anymore you're seeking the wonders of the lord the wonder of salvation the wonder of healing, the wonder of deliverance, the wonder of power from on high. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all these things shall be added unto you. All these things shall be added unto you. Where are you? All these things shall be added unto you. Healing added, power added, deliverance added solution to your problem added all all somebody shout all all the good things you are looking for will be added to your life in jesus name it's about and eyes closed it's about and eyes closed the lord is giving you the chance tonight even if they're the worst of sinners there's salvation for you tonight the worst of sinners, there's forgiveness for you tonight. The worst of sinners, there is pardon, there is peace for you tonight. Just indicate, and as you raise up your hand, and then you stand up, that forgiveness will come to you. Judgment will not come anymore. Evil will not come anymore. The peace of God will settle in your heart. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you want the salvation of the Lord, you want the pardon of your sin, and you want the freedom that Christ gives, redemption, righteousness that he gives, raise up your hand uh, anywhere you are. Praise the Lord. That's you there. That's you there. That's you there. Make it a date with the Lord a day of appointment a day of salvation for you raise up that hand raise up that hand i want jesus to be my savior i want jesus to be my lord i surrender i'm willing to surrender my life completely to the lord raise up that hand if you're raising up your hand anywhere you are please stand up please stand up the lord wants to see you god bless you there 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 stand up wherever you are at the gallery on the ground floor anywhere you are outside stand up and demonstrate that you want to have jesus as your personal savior and as you are standing up tell the lord confess your sins of the past like uh, the sins of Belshazzar, all the things you have committed, you tell the Lord, I'm sorry, now I surrender. Now I surrender. I give my heart, I give my life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. 
they will receive you. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And immediately that salvation is coming to you right now. Amen. Amen. Let me pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for all these new sons and new daughters who are coming to Christ now according to your promise. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Change their hearts. Change their lives. And the things they used to do that was to bring judgment upon them, help them to dislike all those things and not to want to do them anymore in Jesus' name. Let us be a witness in their hearts that now they're children of God. Their sins are forgiven. Freedom has come to them. Free salvation, true salvation has come to them right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation you have given them. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing there. Our state of us here will come now and direct us in this time of uh, getting the names and the details of the people that have given their lives to the Lord. Uh, please remain standing. After that, I'm going to come back and today, signs and wonders will happen in your life. Let me hear Calabai men before I sit down. Keep standing. Keep standing. Keep standing. Our leaders going now, going now quickly, and take their data. Make sure that you are accurate. Don't be in a hurry. Be accurate. Name, contacts, address, email, if any. Let's be patient with them. Calls 1 to 10 and the member, please. Let's go ahead now. Write boldly in capital letters. Be careful with the digits so there'll be no mistake, no omission. Tonight, they will receive a message from us. Now, for us that are born again already, buy our hair and be praying, God, tonight, visit me. Visit me. This is the third day third day of the, of the crusade. Visit me. No matter the problem, the sickness, I will go back healed. Be praying now in your heart. Our leaders be fast. Take time with them. Don't just say Musa or Akim. There's no address. Be definite. Be definite. And check up the Digits, is it MTN? Is it Airtel? Make sure that we are accurate and correct so I don't miss them. Let's go ahead. When you are through, you know what to do. So to indicate that you are done. Those of us coming now, you are late. Tomorrow, 7 30, make sure you are here. Our leaders, our core coordinators, be attentive now. We now collect the data, the slips, the slips, and transfer to e follow up tonight. Write in capital letters and sign it. Sign your name. So if I, if I have any problem, we'll, we'll get at you. package for them okay or it is done or it is done but keep keep standing there also or it is done already then the duty the of the lord is Don't to answer and as you are praying August, answers are sure in all the regions, answers all the are sure all the states answers all the nations, are sure if you like but our own time here is 2 p.m the own time you may choose a time there in your nation that's all conducive for you. 
us here in, in, in the Calabar, Lord is beating you. Over, 2 p.m. In Jesus' journey. name, we pray. The first of August. A crusade. Amen. Your, your, your Almighty we God. We are done. Show us. You have been or so seven wonderful. Is done. Or six is in done. This signs and wonders crusade. Or From day one till done. this point. God bless you. You have been wonderful. God bless you. We're waiting for others. All right. Or two is done. Or two is done. Or two. Or six. Waiting for others. All right. The member by my right is done also. God bless you. God bless you. The expectant. The word of God is coming to us now, to you, for healing. Don't panic. Don't be anxious. Don't struggle. Just free. Tonight is your night. It's my night. Live here tonight. Testimony. Come out here to testify to God. Come again. Take their letters. Because that will be a bless you also. Come in now. It's coming now. Testimony time. Their ears will open. Don't seekers of wonders with willingness to surrender. As we have surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, every sickness, every infirmity, every impossibility, and every challenge and problem in your life, the Lord is touching you right now. And when you hear the final amen, check up your life and check up the child you brought, the miracle will have happened there. Your blind eyes will open. Yeah. Your deaf ears will open. Yeah. Dumb tongues will speak out. Yeah. And if you are lame, paralyzed, after the final amen, you are not paralyzed anymore, give action and expression to your faith as you stand up. Power will meet you right there. Yeah. And whatever the problem you have, the Lord is touching you now. I will receive. I will receive. And you'll demonstrate it. Lay your hand where you have the problem and raise up the other hand. And then the expectant is coming. Father, in Jesus' name. <clears throat> I pray for all your people. I pray, Lord, as they have come, they heard that was still the same mighty God from generation to generation, and that you are working wonders, and they expect you to do wonders in their lives. Lord, do it in every life in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Lord, I pray those blind eyes be opened now. Deaf ears be opened now. Dumb tongues speak out in Jesus' name. Anything swollen there in your body, hands, tummy, legs, anywhere, be healed in Jesus' name. Those who have been curable, life-threatening diseases like cancer, like HIV AIDS, like TB, and whatever other life-threatening disease, 
be healed in Jesus name those who are paralyzed having stroke having broken bones I pray those broken bones will join together right now and you'll not be able to walk because of paralysis the power of God come into your life right now rise up and walk in Jesus name Lord, I pray that everywhere now, over here in Calabar and all the other regions and states where we are in Nigeria and all the various nations and those who are in their various homes, anywhere your people are now, I send forth the word of power unto everyone. Be healed in Jesus' name. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Every yoke in your life is broken by the anointing. Manifest yourself in every life, Lord. I thank you because I know it is done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. I got it. I got it. Do what you couldn't do before. Put into manifestation now. It's right there. Miracle, healing, signs, wonders, right there now. Amen. It's done.
Jesus power. Super power. Jesus power. Super power. I say Jesus power. How many of us couldn't get home? You stayed as we said. How many of you stayed behind after the service? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. God will reward you this evening. Amen. 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 Tomorrow, please, 
I beg you, be here on time. Tuesday is a grand finale. And this global crusade for us in Cross River to bring joy to all of us. Shall we say amen? amen. We have not been welcoming our, our, our invitees, our guests, to our deliberates. We want to welcome you today, tomorrow, then, then Tuesday, finally. Of course, capture your data so it can get to you physically and by online. So you, you've been coming, you've been coming, you've been invited to come, and you've been coming to this crusade. Can I see your hands up? You are invited. Oh, God bless you. Rise up, 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 rise up. God bless you. Rise up, rise up. Gallery, rise up. Whatever you are, rise up. Get up, rise up. God bless you. God bless you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Please, our, our leaders, get to them and get their particulars, the data. Keep standing, keep standing. The pastor is happy that you, you came, you have been coming. He appreciates you. Let's go to them now and get their particulars, their data, their name, phone number, so we can get to them, get to them hereafter. God, please, fast, fast, our leaders. Please keep standing, they will identify you to fill, them, fill some forms. And of course, uh, the program, you're having the program, we have, a, we have fellowship days, Monday. Tomorrow we'll see. I, I won't say much about it. Tomorrow we'll see how the pastor will handle signs and wonders Bible study. It will surprise everybody. So tomorrow, Monday's Bible study, in-depth, systematic, thorough, thorough. So don't miss Bible study anywhere you are, in, in Calabar, in Cross River, anywhere you are, in a those states, those sharing media, where you are in, in Anambra, in America, Bible study on Mondays, so we don't joke with that. That is the backbone of the church every Monday for us in Nigeria, 6 p.m. Then, of course, on Sundays, today we were here uh, by 8 o'clock. We take by 7 30, we are praying, 8 o'clock, we, we take off uh, the Bible, our Bible worship, Sunday worship is very major to preserve the church. The days are evil. So we have this fellowship to keep us, keep us going. Of course, on Thursdays, we have a revival service, we give testimony, and you see the power of God on Thursdays, the same 6 p.m. Uh, it's, it's for continuity. When you, when you stop these fellowships, you begin to dry. It, it will dry and fizzle out. But then when you continue with this fellowship, keeps us aflame, keeps us relevant, keep us afloat. Keep us fiery until the Lord comes. Last night, you couldn't give testimony last night because of time. Please, could you come now by my rights? So give me some time, maybe two or three, we'll give testimony uh, before the, 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 the pastor comes on stage. You know, those, those in, in Calabar here, in Cross River, I, I want to say something to you now. You know, I, I, I'm here by God's grace. I use cutlass. Anointing my my anointing is cutlass. I've been struggling since I came. I've been struggling to to help you. But I told you something before the pastor came that he's coming with bulldozer anointing. <laughs> Shall we say amen? Uh, it's a bulldozer anointing. So this this crusade will wipe away every ailment, every disease, every problem, every impediment in Cross River State, in particular. Shall we say amen? You know, it will not touch you. You can see what happened last night. Goiter, for three years, disappeared. Just, just, map, just the word through prayer. And a cripple got up here, which I couldn't do. You know, so that's why you don't miss it. These two days remaining. When he goes now, if he comes to me, I have my cutlass. I can't do much. That's why you stop markets, stop everything. Make sure you are here tomorrow. You are here on Tuesday, the final day. So when he goes, we are all right. We are strong. We are healthy. We are healthy.